We're supposed to get some serious wind tonight. The road behind us is flooded. The last two days I've been wading through knee-high water. Getting ready right now to head to Beaufort. This is so awesome! There's dolphins! Like we just pulled into the Beaufort anchorage. I'm trying to remove packing, pulling it out this little tiny piece at a time. The nut won't go on again, no matter what I do. We're all at like 50 feet of scope, and there was somebody at 120 feet, and they swung into him, and... That's not fair, I don't see with my eye. <laughs> Oh, they're from Montreal. What's you doing? Just taking off the solar panels off the back because we're getting some, we're supposed to get some serious wind tonight and these weren't secured all that well. So uh, we're gonna secure them better when we put them back up. But for now, we're just gonna take them off and put them down below. And I got some shrimp from the market! Oh, look at that! Oh yeah! Freshly caught shrimp from the boats right behind us! But at the market, a couple steps over it that way. This is really exciting! I've never actually bought shrimps from where they come from and eaten them. And they're huge! And they're really really good! So jambalaya for dinner! Mm. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like we are officially disconnected from Oriental. The road behind us is flooded and there's like two inches left in the dock. This is crazy! Walking through so much water. The water's up about like two feet, I think, from where it normally is at least. Um, yeah, we're just making sure all the lines aren't too tight and yep, and has have enough slack in it to maybe we get too much slack. Yeah, maybe a bit too much. But rather too much than not enough. Warm. I am finally walking on land. We are reconnected to the rest of Oriental today, which is pretty exciting because the last two days I've been wading through knee high water, which isn't the warmest. It's not freezing cold, but it's not that great either. So we're kind of getting ready right now to head to Beaufort, which isn't that far, it's like 20-25 miles from here. And so we'll go there and then hopefully, depending on what the weather's like on the outside, we want to do a jump 
from there to where is it called Wrightsville so we would try this but it really depends what it's like outside because I think it's still a bit messy from the big nor'ester we had so we'll see we'll get there and worst case we'll just continue in the ICW because I really want to get south as you can see I'm kind of dressed up for cold weather I want warmth Oh, feels good. We were cooped up there for way too long. Especially with the high water, we weren't able to get off the boat very easily. And it was just so cold. So you're going into wading through water up to your knees and uh, just to go anywhere. So you end up staying in the boat quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so it's been four days. Four days, I think, of us wading out storms. And uh, basically there was a northern, northeaster going through. So now we are heading south. We're gonna be back onto the ICW very shortly and uh, meeting up with the ocean, maybe doing an offshore passage tomorrow. So that's gonna be sweet. Come to say hi, sweetie. Shut down the speed and all that. I've been in a really kind of low mood for the last couple of days with all the wind, rain, cold, and all that messy stuff. But this is so awesome! There's dolphins! Like we just pulled into the Beaufort Anchorage and there's just like dolphins all over the place just like following us as we're trying to find where to drop the anchor. It's just... Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> I don't think I've ever hated my life more than I hate my life right now. This is incredibly ridiculous. I'm trying to remove packing that I put in the stuffing box because I thought it needed more packing when I should have just tightened the nut down even more but I was afraid to turn the nut too tightly. But that's what I should have did because now I'm pulling it out this little tiny piece at a time. This is the biggest piece I've been able to get out so far. So you can imagine how long it's going to take me to take out that all the way around when it's, uh, geez, three eighths of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch wide and it goes all the way around the shaft. And of course, it's the most difficult thing to possibly reach or see. I've got a mirror down here just to be able to see up into the stuffing box, which is basically probably not even visible from you. And I've got all sorts of basically every tool that I can imagine that will work for this. Got a little nail with some tape on it tie, connected to some pliers. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the nut won't go on again. No matter what I do, it teases me a little bit, makes me think that it's going on, and it goes on for about a half a turn before it just tells me to F off and it slips. And then I have to go and try to dig out more packing because I can't shove the packing in anymore because it seems like it's maxed out. And I put a ton of force trying to get it in there to begin with. So obviously it's even harder to get out. So I'm really not having a good day. Well, this is day number two of this. So really not enjoying myself so much. It's so awesome, waking up to wild horses.
Corey is getting the dinghy ready so that we can go to land. Oh, over there. Somewhere so, over there. So excited for a shower. It's been way too long. And it's cold, so it's going to be nice to be in a nice hot shower. I can't wait. Uh, last night was pretty eventful. Not for us, but for our friends that were anchored right beside us. Apparently there was somebody... We're all at like 50 feet of scope. And there was somebody at 120 feet of line and they swung into him and anyway he ended up re-anchoring and swung again I think and I, long story short they ended up tying up to him just so he wouldn't swing as much but uh, we were really lucky not to get hit because we were quite close as well and I don't know if I would have been quite as friendly with the person as our friends were. <laughs> I can't row with one hand. <laughs> There's dolphins! <laughs> 